Hello, what's up YouTube? In this tutorial, I'll show you how you can easily get a nailed that Instagram quality in all your images. So, just want to share a few tricks that you can easily use to get the best out of your Instagram photos and the best quality out of the photos. Remember, if I told you post a very, very high resolution photo on Instagram, there is a very high possibility that it is going to be compressed and compression usually results into loss of quality and you lose out on those nice and very vivid pixels in your images so just want to see or find a way of dealing away with that kind of compression from highly affecting the photos so just want to take a few factors into consideration in this tutorial and we find a way of getting rid of those kind of compression issues and color change issues so the very first thing and i'm going to be sharing around five steps that you can easily follow and I have a bonus tip for you in this tutorial. So the very first thing you have to take into consideration is the color space of your photos. Remember, usually as we're doing the editing, we tend to maybe use different software to process the images and maybe color grade them. And those softwares may be having different color spaces and maybe some may be in Adobe, others may be in sRGB. So we want to find one that is really going to be important in not affecting or changing the colors when you post the photo on Instagram. So step number one is looking for the right color profile for the image. And in order to do, to do or find out that, just come right down here on the image. So when you come right here, make sure you click right here and you come to document profile. So click on this arrow right down here and you come to document profile. So you know that when you click on document profile, you're going to be seeing the color space of an image. So Instagram supports sRGB. And if I told you have a different option right here, and maybe you have a different color space right here, make sure to change it to sRGB. And in order to do that, you're just going to come right here to edit. So you come down to edit and you come to down here to convert to profile so when you come down there and you look for the profile you click right here and you look for the color space so usually these are the color spaces that we have so you have to make sure that it is in srgb you make sure you select it and just come and hit ok so that is the very first step so when you hit ok it is going to convert that color space and you have the best out of the image so next we just want to have an image that is going to be 8 bit so you don't want to upload an image that has a high bit ratio because that is also going to make the image really so big and instagram is going to look at it and it's going to compress it at the end and you lose out on the nice quality so just have you have to come and make sure to change the bit depth of your image and in order to do that you can simply come to image right here you come to image mode and you make sure it is, it is in the smallest bit channel or the smallest bit depth. So for this case, I'm just going to leave it to 8. So make sure you change it to 8 bit. If I told you had a 32 bit image, convert it to 8 bit. So after doing that, remember we just want a really nice and an image that has nice quality. So we just want to look at the recommended photo settings for Instagram so we have to look at the height and the recommended height and the various information for Instagram so I'm just going to come right maybe to Google and we look for the Instagram image sizes so this is for 2022 so in this case our image is going to be our image is a portrait and a, pro, a portrait image has to be 1080 by 1350 so you have to note that down so 1080 by 1350 so i hope you can see this so i'm just going to come back into our photoshop so when you come back into photoshop make sure that you take that into consideration that when you are going to be exporting the image it has to be in that kind of recommended size so the next thing is going to be cropping the image. Remember, for if I told him to come back here, for a portrait image, it has to be in this ratio, 4 by 5. And for this one, 
the landscape has to be in this ratio so since we have a portrait image you're just going to come back into photoshop and we come to our crop tool and you make sure that it is in 4 by 5 8 by 10 or 8 by 10 remember if at all you don't crop this image and your image is really in another resolution or another crop ratio it means that instagram may crop it and crop out some information so don't want to lose out on the information crop it right away in that ratio of 4 by 5 if at all it is a portrait so just come and crop it so the next thing that you want to take into consideration is our step number three which is going to be sharpening the image so we just want the image to be sharp and nice and crisp before we take it or upload it on instagram so just want to come and we're just going to just come right here and we we're just going to come right here and you're going to select our image and create a duplicate and hit ctrl command j create a duplicate layer from the background there by hitting ctrl command j then you're going to come right here to so you're just going to come to filter sorry i was getting a little bit distracted so filter other and you come to high pass so just want to sharpen the image so under high pass you have to move this radius up to a point when you're starting to get the information or look at the information in the image so at around 1.3 it is a good way don't take it over two because that is going to be so so much sharpening so around 1.3 is fine and i'm just going to hit okay so come the blend mode and change it from normal and i'm just going to change it to uh, linear light just like that and it's going to add some kind of sharpening so remember we don't want the sharpening to be on the overall image i think this is a little bit overboard you can see how it is affecting the image so i'm just going to come and reduce on the opacity slightly until when the image looks a, a little bit natural and we don't want those that kind of shiny effect to the image so i'm just going to take this down a little bit so that looks great but remember sharpening shouldn't affect the whole image you just want to sharpen specific areas and for portraits we just want maybe sharpening on the eyes for example so i'm just going to come on hit on the layer mask and create a mask and make sure i hit ctrl command i on the keyboard to hide or invert that effect and come and get a soft round brush so come under the brushes get a brush or pass and a flat 100 percent so what i'm going to do i'm just going to switch and get white on top or you can click right here to reset so i'm just going to come and painting using a white brush i'm going to be revealing the sharpness that was hidden behind the black mask so i'm just going to come right here and i paint to sharpen the areas i just want the sharpening to be applied onto so i'm just going to sharpen those areas and you can see that the eyes are now really sharp and they are really nice and detailed so you can see the before and after for the eyes they are really nice and sharp so after sharpening the image the next thing is going to be exporting the image or saving it in the best way possible so i'm just going to come right here to file and come to export and come to export as so when i come to export as remember the settings that we noted down somewhere we're just going to be fitting in those settings in our image so for the height instagram needs it needs 1080 so i'm just going to type in 10 1080 right here and for the width it needs 1350 so i'm just going to type in 1350 that is going to be our width i don't know what went wrong right here oh we are in the canvas size sorry about this so i'm just going to reset this so the image size right here we have to be under image size rather so for the tallest side of the image right here we have to be at remember what i just said for the tallest side we have to be so this is our longest side which is our height so it has to be at 1080 rather 
and for the width we have to be so usually it is this longest side which is going to really matter and as you can see it has automatically scaled it for us so the longest side has to be 1080 i hope you can see this and the quality don't make, don't take the quality all the way to 100 percent just slightly reduce it to around 80 is good around 80 and when when we zoom in our image i'm just going to hit enter so when i zoom in the image you can see it still has the nice detail that was embedded in it so you can see it has our information so the longest side has to be 1080 like i said so come and also embed these two color spaces so remember we selected srgb also embed the color profile and you can see the image is already compressed by default i hope you can see this and just come and export the image so after exporting the image we just want to share one last and final trick that is going to be posting it via your computer or laptop so you're just going to come right here to our browser i'm just going to come to instagram so if at all you have an updated version for google chrome you can see that it already has this option for us where you can just get the photo so if at all you have an older version and you haven't updated your chrome you can just come and right here you click on these options right here then you come to more tools so when you come to more tools right here just come to developer tools so when you come to developer tools it is going to make uh, your instagram feed look like uh, your mobile phone i hope you can see this and you can see these scripts right here so what you are going to do just come and click on the plus icon choose the image that you want post and look for it select it and now hit open and it is going to load you can see after loading you can now click right here to fit the image on the crop tool so you just need four by five so it can fit in the whole screen just come and hit next and after hitting next you can add a filter i don't recommend this just come and hit next and you can add information and your caption and maybe your location if at all you just want to share your location and simply hit share so that is those are the five tips for nailing instagram quality and if at all you have a query make sure to let me know in the comment section and if at all you have found this helpful don't forget to like this video and don't forget to subscribe if at all you have been watching and you're not subscribed this channel ronix from ronix photography thank you for watching i'll see you in yet more amazing tutorials and don't forget to keep practicing and also keep creating